Hey guys and welcome to my quest guide for the 2023 members quest, the Battle of Ferenc 3. So requirements to do this you will need to have completed Ancient Awakening, Dead and Buried, Unwelcome Guests, Murder at the Border, New Foundations, you will need to have built the Grove Cabin and the Botanist Workbench in Ferenc 3 uh, to Tier 1. Skills you will need to have level 60 in Necromancy, there are no items required but you will need combat equipment, food and potions for fighting. Any misses of feet, you will need to kill three undead giants at level 300 each. Zemmerigal at level 789 and Vorkath at level 789. With your combat equipment, make sure you bring a super anti-fire potion because Vorkath is a dragon and will do dragonfire damage. To start the quest, you're going to head to Fort Ferenthry, just in the southwestern corner and speak to the raptor. Choose option one, talk about the Battle of Ferenthry, accept the quest. And then choose option one again. Yes, I'm ready. You'll go into a cutscene, so just watch the cutscene, hold spacebar to go through the chat. Once you get control again, we're going to head north out of the gate. And then we're going to continue Rise, north to the camp where Destroy there is an undead giant. Now there are multiple enemies around that will attack you, but just ignore all of them and kill the undead giant. The rest, the rest you can just ignore. So once the undead giant is killed, you need to click on the beam in the middle to disrupt the place of power, and then we're going to run west. You dare interrupt me. This once we get west, we're going to head over the bridge, and there'll be another undead giant to kill. Keep an eye on your potions and your health, if you're needing them. Once the next undead giant has been killed, click to disrupt the place of power again. Then we're going to run south. And then you'll see one more area the same with another undead giant, so go ahead and kill that one. dead disrupt the place of power once again and you'll go into a cutscene so the next thing we're going to be doing is killing Zimmer Eagle and Vorkath now they are higher levels but you have to remember as this is a quest you are in story mode so they're not as difficult as the actual boss battle is going to be later so once they spawn in the first thing you need to do is attack Vorkath make sure you take a dose of your anti-fire potion Keep your overloads up if you're using them. And make sure you keep your health up. Best to keep it above half because they can hit hard sometimes. So you just need to tank a Zemmer Eagle during the whole battle. 
and keep attacking Vorkath first. And then once Vorkath is killed, then you'll move on to Zemmerigal. So when he does this a 10 by 10 AoE attack, you can surge or escape or dive. But if your defense is high enough and your health is high enough, sometimes it is just easier to tank it. You will see both enemies' health at the top. Partway through the battle, Volkath will fly away. At this point, you can attack Zamarikul and start getting his health down a little bit. There we go, as you can see Volkath has flew away. So we're gonna go ahead and attack Zemmerigal. Now it is possible to kill Zemmerigal before Volkath lands again. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to do that. So once Volkath lands, once again, continue attacking the dragon. This battle will go a lot quicker if you are very good at PvE and bossing. I'm not that big into bossing, so most of my fighting only comes when I'm doing quests or if I'm in a group. So it will take a little bit longer if, like me, you are not very big into bossing. So once Vorkath is dead, you can target Zemmerigal and it shouldn't take long to get down his 150,000 health or less if you attacked him earlier when Vorkath flew away. If at this point your anti-dragon fire um, potion wears off you don't need to take another one. Once Semmerigal is dead, you will head automatically back to Fort Farin 3. Once you get back, speak to the raptor who you'll be right next to. And go through the chat. Then we're going to talk to Guard Captain Sophia in the guardhouse, which is just to the south of where you stood. Then we're going to head slightly east to the command centre and speak to Asta or Bill inside the command centre. Then just outside the eastern wall of the command centre you need to speak to either Oak or Zoe. Then directly to the north go to the chapel and speak to either Copperpot, Father Flint or Granny Rowan. Then we're going to head to the northwest into the kitchen and speak to Princess or Rodney. Mm -hmm. 
Um, once you've got five out of five, head back to the guardhouse and speak to the raptor once again. And we're going to head into the town hall, which is in the northern part, and speak to Bill. We're going to head east into the kitchen and collect four of these stone wall segments just outside the kitchen. And we need to repair the fortifications. So the fortifications are on the northwestern side of the fort, so you can run along the north side of the town hall. You will see four of the building hotspots, just like when we are building up the fort. So go ahead and click on one of them to repair it. There is no specific hotspot. They don't glow like they do when you're building the buildings. So you just need to go from one to the other and they don't take very long to do each. And once you've got all four of them built, we're going to head back into the town hall and speak to either Asta, Overseer Sith or Rodney. Choose option one. Yes, begin the feast. Go into a cutscene. Just go through the chat. Once you've got control again, finish going through the chat and then we're going to head back to the guardhouse and speak to the raptor once again. Go 
go through the chat with the raptor. Then we're going to head east to the eastern side of the command center. Just outside you will see a hatch on the floor. Go ahead and enter the hatch. And then we're going to head west and talk to Zemmer Eagle. Go through the chat and then choose any option. Keep going through the chat and you will get a cutscene. So after the cutscene you will get quest complete. So for completing this you will get one quest point, a necromancy XP lamp with 30,000 necromancy XP, access to the Zemmer Eagle and Vorkath boss encounter and two treasure hunter keys. So that's quest complete and well done.